Hey, today I'm going to teach you how to solve the apple cube. This is a scrambled 3x3 three three apple cube. And as you can see, it has a striking resemblance in structure to the 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. It has three layers, a centerpiece, edge pieces, and many corner pieces, just like in the 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. Now, let's try and solve this like we solve a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. And let's do that by first solving one face. And the easiest way to do this is by solving the top face. And that's because that's the face where we've got the stem. And if you look really closely at this piece, you can see that it has indentations around it, as you can see over here, which means that the edge pieces around it must also have indentations. One of those pieces is this one over here. As you can see, it has a visible indentation, meaning that it must belong over here. So I'm just gonna put this piece up over here like so. Now let's repeat this action a few more times and fill up all the edge pieces. So here's another piece with an indentation. I'm just gonna move this up as well. And here's another piece. And now let's find our final piece, which is over here. And right now, as you can see, we've created this kind of cross up here. But there's one problem. This cross is cool, but it's not exactly course, it's not really matching with its corresponding center pieces down over here. So that's the next step. We have to match these edge pieces with these center pieces, like you can see over here and here. So let's try and match up this and this and flip these center pieces over so they're all flush. But to do this, what we have to do is we have to move all of our already fixed ones to the bottom. So to do that, I'm just gonna flip this over like so. So this is flipped. I'm gonna flip this over as well. I've done this so that when I move these around, I'm not actually interfering with the pieces that I've already fixed. So now you can see that this is actually the right piece for this. The only problem is that this is actually the wrong way around. So in order to fix these together, what I have to do is I have to flip the center pieces around. To do that, I'm gonna flip all of this around. Then I'm gonna flip this whole face around and move this back. And as you can see, this piece is now fixed. I'm gonna move this to the bottom. And let's repeat this action one more time. I'm moving this to the side. I'm flipping the face over and I'm moving this back. And now this is also fixed. And I'm moving this to the bottom. And as you can see, I've created this little structure here at the bottom where I've got all of these, the same height, same level, and they're all matching with their corresponding center pieces. Now, if I want to fix this with the corresponding center piece as well, all I've got to do is just move all of these downward. So I'm just going to move all of these to the bottom. So now we've finished that step, we've formed a cross, and we've also matched it up with their correct center pieces. And now what we have to do is we have to finish solving this entire face. And to do that, we just have to fill in these spots over here. Now we do this by borrowing a step from the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. This is where we do our right triggers and left triggers. So I find this piece over here, which I believe belongs over here. I see this is on my left side, so what I do is my left trigger. And it goes like this. L prime, U prime, L. And now this piece is slotted in its correct place. Now let's try and repeat this action. Here is another piece that I want. And if I want this, I'm just gonna move this round to a slot which is currently empty, such as this one over here, and I wanna place this over here. So this is on my right side. I'm gonna do a right trigger. R, U, R prime. And now there's only one left, but as you can see, the piece that I want is placed over here. So I first have to remove this and then place it back over. So I'm just gonna do a right trigger since it's on my right side and remove it. R, U, R prime. I'm gonna put it back. And as you can see, it's actually facing to the top. So I want to readjust it as well. So I'm gonna do another right trigger, but I'm gonna move it two times to the side so it doesn't move down with it. And now it's oriented correctly. And since it's on my right side, R, U, R prime. And now this entire step is complete. 
And for my next step, I want to solve this entire second layer. So to solve the second layer, as you can see, what we have to do is we have to reorient these two pieces and flip them around, like we have over here. You can see these pieces are all in the correct positions, and it's all flush together. I want to do the same for this side. So, what I have to do is I have to find a couple of edge pieces that match here. This is one of them. So I want to place this piece over here. Now, in order to do that, there's a small little sequence of movements that we do. First, we move this away from the face that we're currently on. So we're going to move this away, and then we're going to do a trigger, then we're going to do a trigger towards that side. So since this is on my right side, I'm going to do a right trigger. And now I'm going to move this whole thing together, and I'm going to trigger them together. And since it's on my left side, that's a left trigger. So L prime, U prime, L. Now there's one more to do, but as you can see, the edge piece is actually over here. So first I have to remove this edge piece, orient it correctly, and then place it back. So I'm gonna do a right trigger to move all of this out of the way. I want to get this back over here and remove this. So I'm gonna do a little left trigger which isolates this over here. And then I'm gonna do exactly what I did before. I'm gonna move this to the opposite side. And then I'm gonna trigger this out and left trigger back in. And that was the entire solving process. Here's the thing, since we saw from the top side, we've actually got to solve the other way around. And since the bottom half of this entire cube is actually of the same proportion on every single side, it means that no matter how this is positioned, if all the pieces are on the right third of the cube, the cube is already going to be solved. So now we finish solving the entire apple cube. That was it. Now if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.